together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant we pray that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of wisdom. The wicked said among themselves, thinking not aright, let us beset the just one because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. He professes to have knowledge of God and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us he is the censure of our thoughts. Merely to see him is a hardship for us. Because his life is not like that of the others and different are his ways. He judges us debased. He holds aloof from our paths as from things impure. He calls blessed the destiny of the just and boasts that God is his father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put him to the test that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death for according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were their thoughts, but they erred. For their wickedness blinded them, and they knew not the hidden counsels of God. Neither did they count on a recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is close. To the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, He rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, He saves. Many are the troubles of the just men, but out of them, all the Lord delivers them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He watches over all his bones. Not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Please stand. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus moved about within Galilee he did not wish to travel in Judea because the Jews 
were trying to kill him. But the Jewish Feast of Tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, Is it not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? But we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, You know me and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, but the one who has sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him, because his hour has not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at maligayang pagdating dito po sa simbahan ng Manawag. Karamihan po sa atin ay likas na mahiyain. Kaya nga, yung iba nung bata pa sila, pag nagtanong si teacher, kahit na alam niya yung sagot, nahihiya, ayaw magtaas ng kamay. Kasi, baka nga naman, mali yung sagot niya. O kaya, baka sabihin ng iba, pabida-bida naman. Parang alam lahat ng mga sagot. Kaya hindi na lang, hindi na lang nagtataas ng kamay. Yung iba naman, nahihiya magtanong ng direksyon. Kasi, baka sabihin, hindi ka ba nagbabasa? Ang ingot mo naman. O kaya, baka dahil sabihin, hindi mo ba alam ito? Kaya, hindi na lang nagtatanong. Yung iba nga nahihiyang magbenta. Kasi, baka sabihin ng iba, naghihirap ka na ba? Wala ka na bang makain at nagbibenta ka na lang? Kaya nahihiya. Eh yung iba nakapagbenta nga pero tinipon lahat ng tapang at lakas ng loob para lamang makapagbenta. Kasi nga, baka kahit na anong sabihin ng iba, may hiya ka. Sa ating ebanghelyo po, parang ganun din ang mga nangyari. Ang daming sinabi patungkol kay Jesus. At isa sa mga dahilan kung bakit tayo nahihiya ay dahil lagi nating iniisip ano bang sabihin ng iba patungkol sa atin. Nakoconcern tayo masyado ay kung anong sasabihin patungkol sa atin. Kaya nga sa ibang ngayon, ganun din. Maraming sinasabi patungkol kay Jesus na hindi maganda. Di ba ito yung ipinapapatay? Bakit nagsasalita pa rin siya? O kaya yung iba naman, sinabi nila na, di ba kapag ang Mesiyas ay dumating, hindi natin alam kung saan siya nagmula. Pero ito, itong si Jesus na ito, ay alam natin kung saan siya nagmula. Sinong mga kasama niya? Parang sinasabi lang na hindi ikaw yung Mesiyas. Hindi ka yung tagapagligtas na hinihintay namin dahil alam namin kung saan ka nagmula at alam namin kung sino yung mga kasama mo. Alam namin yung pinaggagawa nila. Pero alam natin kung si Jesus ay nagpadaig sa kung ano man ang sabihin patungkol sa Kanya, sa malamang wala tayong pinag-uusapan na kaligtasan. Sa malamang, hindi nagawa ni Jesus ang kanyang misyon dito sa lupa. Kung siya ay nahiya at siya ay tumiklop na parang isang makahiya, 
wala tayong pag-uusapan na kaligtasan. Kaya siguro sa araw na ito, pinapaalala lang sa atin ni Jesus na huwag kang mahiya kapag ginagawa mo ang mission mo sa buhay. At paano? Sa ating nabasang Ibanghelyo, pumunta si Jesus sa Feast of the Tabernacles. Itong Feast of Tabernacles ay ginugunita ng mga Hudyo ang kanilang 40 years na pananatili sa disyerto pagkatapos nilang makaalis o makalaya sa pang-aalipin ng mga Ehipto. At sila ay nandoon, yung kanilang mga ninuno ay nandoon sa disyerto sa loob ng 40 years na walang makain, na walang mainom. Pero nung sila ay humingi ng panalangin sa Diyos, binigyan sila ng mana, binigyan sila ng tubig, binigyan sila ng ilaw, sila ay ginabayan. At yun ang inaalala sa Feast of the Tabernacles. Kaya nga itong fiesta ito ay masaya. Kaya siguro pinapaalala lang sa atin ni Jesus, para hindi ka mahiya, alalahanin mo, alalahanin mo na minsan tinulungan ka na Alalahanin mo na minsan, ikaw ay nangangailangan na ikaw ay mahina, na ikaw ay humihingi ng tulong at naranasan mo na matugunan ang lahat ng pangangailangan mo. Alalahanin mo at huwag kang mahiya. Pinapaalala lang sa atin ni Jesus na alalahanin sa mga pagkakataon na tayo'y humihingi ng tulong. May natanggap ka. Hindi man sa tulong na gusto mo o sa paraan na gusto mo, pero merong dumating. Kaya't sinasabi lang sa atin ni Jesus, alalahanin mo Alalahanin mo ulit na minsan nangailangan ka at may dumating na tulong. Pangalawa, sinabi dito ni Jesus na I know Him because I am from Him. Siguro sinasabi lang na kilalanin mo ang Diyos sa pamamagitan ng pagkilala sa iyong sarili. Kilalanin mo ang Diyos sa pamamagitan ng pagkilala sa iyong sarili. Dahil kapag kinilala mo ang sarili mo, makikita mo kung saan ka mahina, kung saan ka malakas, kung saan ka magaling, kung saan punto ng buhay mo o panahon o pagkakataon na ikaw ay madaling malupig o madaig ng tukso. Alam mo kung kailan ka masaya. Alam ko, alam mo kung kailan ka malungkot. Pinapaalala lang ni Jesus, kilalanin mo ang sarili mo. Dahil kapag lubusan mong makilala ang sarili mo, makikita mo doon kung saan ka tunay na nagmula. At saan ka nagmula? Sa Diyos. At kapag nakilala mo ang sarili mo, makikita mo doon ang Diyos na nagmamahal sa iyo. Kilalanin mo. Kilalanin mo ulit yung sarili mo. Kasi baka nakalimutan mo na dahil concern ka masyado, masyado sa maraming bagay, sa ibang tao, sa ibang gawa ng tao, pero nakalimutan mo yung sarili mo. Ah, ganito pala ako kapag ako ay malungkot, ganito nagagawa ko. Kapag ako ay mahina, ganito yung mga nagagawa ko. 
kapag ako ay masaya, kilalanin mo. Dahil kapag kinilala mo ang sarili mo, makikita mo doon ang Diyos. Kaya siguro yun ang paalala sa atin ngayong araw na ito. Alalahanin mong merong Diyos na minsang tumulong sa iyo. Alalahanin mo. Pangalawa, kilalanin mo. Kilalanin mo pa yung Diyos na tumulong sa iyo sa pamamagitan ng pagkilala mo sa sarili mo. Dahil doon mo makikita yung Diyos na tumulong sa iyo. At kapag naalala mong kabutihan, kadakilaan ng Diyos, at kilala mo ang sarili mo, at nakikilala mo pa ang Diyos, hindi ka mahihiya na gawin ang dapat mong gawin na gawin ang misyon mo dito sa mundo, hindi ka mahihiya na kahit minsan pinagtatawanan ka ng iba, na kahit minsan hindi nila maintindihan kung anong pinagagawa mo sa buhay. Pero hanggat alam mo, naaalala mo, at nakikilala mo ang sarili mo at ang Diyos, Anong dapat ikahiya? Hanggat hindi ka gumagawa ng masama, wala kang dapat ikahiya. Dahil tanging kasalanan o ang masama lamang ay isang bagay na dapat nating ikahiya. At hindi yung pagkilala sa ating sarili at pagkilala sa Diyos. Kaya sana, siguro, sa araw na ito, sa inyong pagpunta dito sa simbahan ito, huwag kang mahiya na sabihin sa Diyos ang mga pangangailangan mo na ihingi sa Birhen sa pamamagitan niya na sana matugunan ulit ng Diyos ang lahat ng pangangailangan ko. Ang kagalingan na hinihingi ko sa aking katawan at sa aking mga mahal sa buhay, na sana medyo umangat naman ako sa buhay, at yung mga mahal ko, na sana makita na ako o makakita na ako ng tao magmamahal sa akin, na sana makaluwag-luwag kahit pa paano. Na sana makapasa ako sa anumang exam o application, application, inaplayan ko, huwag kang mahiya. Dahil sa harap ng Diyos, wala tayong dapat ikahiya. Kahit na minsan nasasaktan ka, na kahit minsan, itingin sa iba, tingin sa iyo ng iba ay mahina. Alalahan mo ulit yung sabi ng Salmo. The Lord is close to the broken-hearted. Kaya't alalahanin mo sa harap ng Diyos. Huwag kang mahiya. Sa harap ng Diyos, tanging kasalanan lang ang dapat mong ikahiya. Kapag hindi ka gumagawa ng masama, sabihin mo sa Kanya, Humingi ka sa Kanya, magdasal ka sa Kanya, magpakumbaba ka. Huwag kang mahiya. Na sa gayon, ay mas lalo mo pang matugunan, mas lalo mo pang magawa ang misyon mo sa buhay. Huwag kang mahiya. Papaano? Alalahaning merong Diyos at kilalanin ang Diyos na yun sa pamamagitan ng pagkilala mo sa iyong sarili. Please stand. As we journey through life, let us pray for the courage to speak and work for the truth. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. 
Lord, hear our prayer, that members of the Church may strive to spread the good news of Jesus throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that by contemplating on Jesus' suffering on the cross, persons may turn from unbelief to faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that we may be at peace with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that the sick and the poor may experience the healing and loving presence of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that the faithful departed may finally enjoy the peace of the heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our personal intentions. The intentions of this Mass for all those whom we promise to pray and for the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, you sent your Son to suffer for us. Grant that through our faith in him, we may struggle against unbelief in ourselves and in the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual train. Blessed be God forever. May be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that may sacrifice in yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacrifice, Almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source with every greater purity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Where we 
indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, his gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. In the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Yes. 
Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. We pray, hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That a common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May, your, may our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so with former ways of left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 4, 2022, third Wednesday after Easter Sunday. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3, 2022. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on May 1st, Sunday. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for masses area and submit it with your donation, where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt, or you may visit our website, www.manawagminorbasilica.org, for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikiisa sa banal na misa at patuloy po nating ipagdasal ang isa't isa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look upon your servants, O Lord, and in your goodness, protect with heavenly assistance those who trust in your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessing of rosaries and religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, oils, and images, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.